All right. Um, I've got a few pieces of hex stock. It's 12L14, and I'm using those, uh, turning them into the, the handles for the uh, hand wheels. Uh, I've got some sections marked out uh, as far as uh, part of, uh, I'm doing a roughing operation here and uh, this section will get uh, one set of diameters, this one will get another set, this will be actually full diameter and then I'll be tapering it down here. Um, but I'm, I'm going to rough it out uh, using uh, standard uh, processes to uh, to get it down to near size that I, I want. Just make sure that's tight. Before I go too far, I wanted to show you what it's going to look like, roughly. I'm working on this end right now. I'm actually working on this section, this quarter inch off the end, and I'll work my way along as I go. Uh, it's unsupported now, but uh, later on in the process, I will support this using uh, my tailstock. Since this is a lot of hand work anyway, I don't need to have um, real precise dimensions on this. I suppose I could spin the, turn the spindle speed up some, but I'm actually comfortable with the way it's cutting right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Maybe later on in the process I'll do that, but not right now. Take this diameter down to about 200 thousandths. I have a set of calipers set up to approximately the diameter I want. And I say approximately because I'm really not concerned about dimensions out to three decimal places on this, not at all. When I get done with this, I'm going to have to finish it with a file anyway.
close enough. Mark the next section. Take that one to 400 pounds. Next one's five hundred thousandths. It's a little big, but it's close enough. I'm going to do the next one before I go. Mark this to make sure that I put it back in the same way I took it out. That's the one I'm going to put it on. Repeat the process on this one, then we'll go to the next section. Can't help thinking about uh, Chuck's buddy Chewy. Talking about Chuck Bomberito's friend Chewy Rios. I think it's Rios. I'm sorry that he's gone. Guys like him teach everybody a lot. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. All right, I'm going to set up for the next operation. What I want to do is put a an insert in the in a uh, live truck to be able to support this end of the of the uh, of the handle as I'm working it. And as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking I might want to 
get this into a point before I do that. So let me do that. I'm going to put these guys back in and do the same thing. Come on. All right, I've got a 3 8 doll pin. Yeah, it's got a hole drill in it. I'll use that to, as a stop to position the parts. Let's see how that works. Do I have enough room in here? I have to extend the. Got my uh, tool set turned around, set up for where I want to cut. So let's uh, give it a shot. Oh, it's not going to like that at all, is it? Oh.
have to take some light cuts, I guess. Okay, I'm at 2.75, which is where I want to be. Okay. I come over to three and a quarter, which is this line. Go from here to inch and a quarter. I'll go from 2.75, which is here. So I got to start at this line and go to inch and a quarter, which is this one. So this section I got to work on. There's a method to my madness. At least I think there is. Or I'm just nuts. Who cares?
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Thanks.